Welcome to Intro to Functional Programming in Haskell. Today we're going to be talking about applicative and mod. Applicative forms an algebra, just like functor and monoid as we talked about previously. Applicative instances are actually monoidal functors. Before we go any deeper on this, let's just go ahead and look at the definition of applicative. For something to be applicative simply means that it is a true functor but also has two more oper operations, pure and this operator with the less than star greater than sign, otherwise known as app or applicative apply. Pure is just a function that takes a value, a, and returns that value contained in the applicative structure. Just as functor had a container type, f, Pure just takes a value and puts that value inside of the container type. App is applicative's version of functor's fmap. App takes a structure of functions from A to B and then takes a structure of A's and returns a structure of B's. Note the difference here. So we could have a list of functions and a list of A's and then output a list of B's. If we had a list of numbers, we could have a list of different functions like plus one and plus two and plus three. And then app would take this list of functions and apply each of them to each entry in the argument. As you might have noticed, this would result in a list of lists. For example, if we had, like as said before, plus one and plus two and plus three applied over a list of integers, we would execute plus one over every member of that list and get a list of numbers, such as if the original list was two, three, four, we'd get three, four, five, and then plus two would be executed and we'd get a list of four, five, six, which would result in a final list of separate lists of numbers. But looking at the return type, you see that there is only a, an f of b's return. So the final part of the apply operation is combining the generated substructure, substructures into just being under one structural component. A more concrete example is shown at the bottom of this slide. So if we have plus 1 and times 2 in a list, and we apply that to the list 2, 4, plus 1 would first generate a list 3, 5, times 2 would first generate a list 4, 8. Thus, our intermediate return value would be a list with the list 3, 5 as the first value, and the list 4, 8 as the second value. These lists are then concatenated, to return the final value of just 3, 5, 4, 8. We know that lists are monoids, so what's actually going on here is that the substructures are just being monoidally combined. Applicative follows several laws, the first two of which are actually similar to many of the laws we've already seen. It has an identity law and a composition law. The last law we're, we see here is slightly new. It is the law of homomorphism. So if we execute pure on some function f and execute pure on some function x, we will end up with an f that's inside some kind of structure and an x that's in some kind of structure. We can then apply that structured f to the structured x and we would get a new structure that contained the result of applying the f to the x. This should always be the same as simply applying pure to the result of f applied to x. Applicative is actually a superclass of monad. Monad defines more guaranteed operations. Monad defines an operation that whose operator is greater than greater than equal to sign, and this operator is known as bind. The other operator to find here with two greater than signs doesn't really have a name and is oftentimes simply referred to as Mr. Pointy when it needs a name. The, another operation monad defines is return. 
Uh, return is not of special note because it is it is essentially exactly the same as applicatives pure. Bind is similar to applicatives app and functors fmap. However, it takes an m structure of a and then a function rather than a function and then a structure. That's one key difference. Mr. Pointy simply takes care of sequencing action. It takes in a monad of A and a monad of B and just returns back a monad of B. More on that in a moment. Before going more in depth on those functions, let's talk about the monadic laws. The monad has two identity laws. The right identity is essentially expressing that if we have a value in a given structural context and we bind it with return, where return would take it from that context and put it into some new structure, and bind over that return would take that generated structure and reduce it back to the original structure, we would end up with just x. Left identity is saying that if we use return to put x into a structure and then bind that with some function f, then we essentially just end up with f applied to x. The law of associativity is simply stating that the grouping of our bind actions should not affect the final value. So let's clarify the difference between monad and applicative. Applicative is about taking a structure of functions that can be applied to a similar structure of values and generating a structure of structures of values and then combining those substructures into one final structure of values that is the result monad deals with functions that take simple values and return values that are inside the structure that we are already dealing with so the core difference is the kinds of functions we want to execute over a structure and how we combine them if we look at the example here, if we make a function called and1 that simply returns x in a list with the number 1 next to it, f mapping and1 over a list would just result in a number of sublists nested into a list. And1 bound over a list would temporarily result in a similar structure, but then combines those sublists back into a list. So, in sum, applicative and monad still help summarize action taken over a structure, but they have different use cases.